It's your girl D. Kent, bitch. And I just jumped off the porch with dirty glove baskets. D, I ain't never let a fuck boy try to play me. And if he want to eat his ass, then he got to pay a fee. Let him know off the top. D. Kent, welcome to Off the Porch. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling good. Thank y'all for having me. Yeah, appreciate good you good coming here. Uh, you visit us from uh, Augusta, Georgia, right? Augusta, Georgia, yep. Yeah. Uh, what can you tell us about life in Augusta? Um, Augusta is cool. Like... I'm really ready to move from Augusta, you know, <laughs> but Augusta is nice. Everybody support me with what I got going on in Augusta. Like, yeah. it's a nice city, so yeah. yeah. You just feel like you may have grown out of this city? Yeah, I kind of outgrown the city. Yeah. I'm ready to move on, transition, <laughs> do other things, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you come out here to Atlanta to work, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. I've done probably like 15, 16 shows in Atlanta so far. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and I uh, was currently working with Lovely Mimi off Love and Hip Hop. Mm -hmm. I was working at her hair salon for a year. Okay. So, but when I started the rapping, my rapping or whatever, yeah. it kind of blew up more than I expected. Huh. Like, I expected it too, but <laughs> not, I only been doing it a year. So, yes. yeah, so um, it's going good. Yeah, I come up here off and on like every other weekend and stuff. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm trying to move, so. Yeah. yeah. How does Augusta compare to Atlanta, then? Oh, it's way different. <laughs> like, definitely. This is a big city. Like, yeah. Yeah, they ain't got nothing on Atlanta. I love Augusta, though, but yeah. They, ain't, yeah, they ain't got nothing Yeah, on it's a little more country down right. there. Right. It's, it's, yeah. Everybody say Augusta country, though. Like, it is country, but I say, like, on the outskirts, like, um, Burke County, Thompson, yeah. stuff like that, it's more country than yeah. Augusta is. Yeah. But, yeah. Augusta is country. And everybody say I got a country accent, like I talk country, so. Yeah, yeah just a little bit. <laughs> it's dope, though. All right, what was your childhood like in Augusta? Uh, it was it was good. Um, I grew up Barton Village, Modesto Wood area. Went to school, Barton Chapel, Glen Hills Middle, Glen Hills High. Yeah. Um, I started doing hair when I was, I always did hair when I was a child <laughs> growing up. I took cosmetology school and everything, but I um, started actually doing hair when I graduated. So I've been doing hair like 10, 10 11 years now. Okay. Like strong, yeah. yeah. But I got a gust on a lot with the hair. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> I do a lot of people hair. Yeah. I've done, um, I done actually Lovely Mimi hair. I done uh, Erica, Erica Jean hair off Love and Hip Hop. Okay. Johnny Blaze, you know, so okay. yeah. yeah. I, I get around too. So, yeah. yeah. So are you going to continue to do hair or are you just going to focus mo morally on uh, music? I'm now? really trying to get out of doing hair, okay. but I do it now because that's my hustle. Yeah. So I got to mm -hmm. support my music, you know what I'm saying? So I'm still going to do hair until yeah. this take off where it's supposed to be and then I'm yeah. going to leave hair alone. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to do it all my life. <laughs> I'm trying to do some other things, so yeah. Yeah. Um, it's dope though. I love doing hair. I always got to pay, had a passion for it, so yeah. 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 And. Uh, you also started a, a business with a family friend, a slushes business, right? Oh yeah, uh, they called us the Candy Ladies. The Candy Ladies. Yeah, so uh, we did that about a year in Augusta. It took off, like, I had people coming from Charlotte, Atlanta, everywhere. Wow. Yeah, like, it was like, um, liquor mixed in with the slushes. Oh, okay. Candy and stuff around <laughs> it, so you know, we were getting towed up or whatever, but, um, <laughs> I actually stopped, I got robbed doing that. Um, hmm. I actually did it at my shop two days in a row and they seen how people were just coming left and right, left hmm. and right. This was in and Augusta? This was in Augusta. Okay. I was um, working on a shop on Lumpkin Road. Hmm. And so I was uh, working all that day. I couldn't even do half because we were selling so many slushies. <laughs> really? like, I had to put that to the side. Yeah, we was making good money doing it. And yeah. Some dudes came in, kind of peeping what was going on mm -hmm. and left. And by the time I was closing up, he came back. Well, the dudes who was with him didn't come back, yeah. but he came back. But oh, he wow. didn't, like, I could tell his vibe when he came in. He didn't, um, he didn't buy a drink or nothing from me. Hmm. Like, he was just sitting there, like, you just look around, peeping hmm. everything. Guys. So when he came back, like, I could feel it. Like, I knew it was something when he came back in there. So he was like, oh, let me get one of them drinks I just bought. So I was like, you didn't get a drink. But the person who I was working with, she was in the back making a drink. So she yeah. didn't know who gave me no money, who ordered the drinks yeah. or nothing. So when he came in... She was like, oh, which drink you had? You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to tell her, like, he ain't had no drink. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he, he couldn't really tell her what drink he had. So yeah. she was like, we had a little bit of drinks left over while we was closing up. So she was trying to go ahead and make him a drink. So he walking out. So mind you, I, I got a pistol on me. She got a pistol on her. Her boyfriend, he in there with us too, like, just kind of securing everything. Yeah. So he walked out. It was like three sections. So he walked out. And when he walked out, 
I was trying to tell, I couldn't even get it out of my mouth good. I was like, he finna rob us. Like, I just uh, felt it. Yeah. So he walking out, and the dude walking behind him, and he turned around to put the gun to the boy's face. He was like, get him. Hmm. So I was like, oh, hell. I already knew it was coming, though. So they started tussling, fighting, whatever. Yeah. So I had my purse inside my um my station where I worked at. Okay. So they was tussling and ended up knocking my whole station over. Because hmm. he, he took my purse. He didn't take the money we made because we had a cash rest in the bed. He didn't take yes. the money we made, huh. you know, off of the drinks. But he took my money. Hmm. I had $800 in my pocket. Oh, wow. He <laughs> took my whole pocket. Nice ass micro core bag. You huh. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like one of my clients here, y'all just bought it for me for my birthday or whatever. Hmm. Nice bag. I was hurt by my bag. But yeah, he um he took it. So he... He didn't get the money off of, off of us from the get from the drain. So yeah. when they finished tussling, the dude who the dude who was with us, his gun fell somehow and slid all the way back to the bed where we was. Okay. So I'm like, so I picked the gun up. So my <laughs> my friend girl who was with me, she started she started. No, I shot through the wall. Oh wow. That's what made him <laughs> run out the shop. Huh. Bam bam bam! About three times I shot through the wall. Her ass, she had she had she had already experienced a death with um her brother and he got killed in front of her so she already like in a different state of mind yeah, about it traumatized yeah. she ran out the door busting at him i'm talking about the car everything so he flying up looking here he had a he had a girl driving he ain't even in the car all the way feet hanging out the car she busting in the car <laughs> shot the car up yeah but he got locked up like um because he was oh. going like, on like a little robbery spree so he had no rob his homeboy <laughs> everything so he ended up getting locked up. He got like 15 years for it or whatever. So, oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. But yeah, them drinks took off and I got robbed <laughs> off the drinks. I'm like, damn. Yeah, did you, yeah. I stopped doing it after that. So you stopped doing the business yeah, after that? It. Now, I did it like a week or so later, but, yeah. you know, and then the summer was all almost over with anyways, but I just didn't pursue it the next summer. Yeah. 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 It kind of not worth the risk at right, that point. Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. How long And I heard you? a girl, it was a girl who set me up to get robbed. Female. Really? Yep. Was it I found you out. Yeah, I found out after the fact. Was it someone you knew? Yeah, it usually is, right? Exactly. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's probably another reason you want to get out of exactly, Augusta. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, Too yeah. many people know me. People be watching, scoping. So it's just time for me to move on. Yeah. 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 I got you. I got you. Um, and then you started working on your own film called The Hair Game, right? Yeah, it's called The Hair Game. It's kind of like a dope game. Okay. I'm the queen pin in the movie. <laughs> um, so you starred in this and you wrote it, right? Um, actually, me and a dude named Contraband Slim. Okay. Yeah, so he directed it for me or whatever. Okay. Right. But we kind of slowed. My brother got murdered um, two years ago, hmm. and that's what slowed us down. And Because he was in the film too, right? My brother was in the film. He oh, got wow. a lot of footage in the film, so I'm really ready to, because I'm going to do it in memory of him. Oh, okay. we finish it. So, yeah. Yeah. It's a dope. It's, it's going to be dope, man. Yeah. yeah, it is. So is this a... Uh, Finished filming it, or are you? Still we haven't piece? finished yet. Okay. We still, yeah. I, I've been on my music tilt right now, but yeah, we're gonna start back in um October filming it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So when do you think? Hopefully you next summer it'll drop. Okay. Right. I got you. Yeah. I got you. Um, what can you tell us about the plot for this? You mentioned kind of like the about the movie. Yeah. Um, like the queen pin in the movie is like. It's like, you know how you selling dope and stuff. I'm really selling hair. Yeah. Like I'm bumping the hair. Like <laughs> I got like four different hair stores um, that was working with me on it. So I go in there, you know, the Chinese people or whatever, <laughs> they they talking their little language or whatever. Yeah. And so they call they call it um they plug on the phone because they my plug. They call in their plug. Like, can I get such and such kilos of Brazilian hair? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know, talking like that. Yeah. But it's dope. We um Actually, one of the scenes I did, two of the scenes I did at my brother's house. Okay. But his house was like the um, dope house, the trap. Hmm. Yeah, so I had him and a couple of my homeboys. And then you know how you sacking up the weed and yeah. stuff like that? They sacking up house. So it's how they, <laughs> it's like edges, they sacking up. And you got people knocking on the door like, can I buy some hair left or right? <laughs> Trying to buy some hair. Like, it, it's going to be a dope scene, yeah. though. Like, people, um, like, I went out of town in the scene and a girl had me had my spot rob hmm. so we went in and, and beat her up put her in the hospital <laughs> like yeah it's, it's dope though like and it's gonna have a lot more of me with my music now that i start music because i started the music after the fact okay. but i'm adding all that in the um, different shows all that like it's kind of gonna be like a real life thing but still adding a little flavor to it with, yeah you know, yeah yeah because uh, be yeah you mentioned you found your, your passion for making music while filming this right right exactly yeah. yes um because i always love to do music but I just never took it serious. Okay. Yeah, like uh, 
my one of my people he used to, he used to do music who I used to talk to and I used to be in the studio with them like you know rapping this was years ago I just never took it serious and then you know being in different relationships with different dudes yeah you know what I'm saying it just take your whole focus on what you really want to do yeah so right now I'm single just trying to focus on me and my music yeah so yeah I, I love it though yeah 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 it's so awesome. mentioned been rapping for only a year now though, yeah right? only yeah I started last year in August so this year makes a year I've been rapping yeah and I've done like 30 shows yeah um, that's crazy <laughs> I did like 15 shows up here I done did uh lavish beach scroll diamond okay uh, Seventh Lounge, Blue Flame. I did a lot of sh lot of shows up here from yeah. a lot of different clubs. Yeah, so uh, I opened up for Trina like two weeks ago. Oh wow! At a club called Oasis. That was dope. Was I that opened in Augusta? up. For, it was in Augusta. Oh okay. I opened up for um, Tokyo Jets, hmm. um, Money Man. I opened up for Young Blue at the at a beat Miller Theater. Oh, okay. Young Blue. Um, like I said, I opened up for a lot of Savage last night. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we finna oh. link up and do something together. So, oh, nice. yeah. yeah. I met Trick Daddy on um, last week. I had went to a show in Florence, South Carolina, mm -hmm. and so I met up with Trick Daddy. He showed major <laughs> love. I was back then. They um in they in the room in the back. Yeah. With him and all his people, it was just me back there, like, cause I went by myself. Oh, okay. But yeah, we linked up and that's yeah, legendary. Yeah, Daddy. he showed like it was an honor to be back there. Like they prayed for, they went on the show, and I yeah. prayed with them and everything. Like it was mm. an honor to do it. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. What are your performances like? They dope. Like <laughs> people messing with me now. Like yeah. I, ain't, I ain't think they was I was gonna have so much support, but I do got a lot of support. You know, you got some people that hate, and you know oh, what I'm yeah. saying. But I don't pay that no mind. Like in the beginning, I kind of you know what I'm saying. Like family and friends, you know what I'm saying. People want to support you how you want them to support you, but you can't really worry about it. the ones yeah. who don't support you. You just got to worry about people who do support you. Yeah. So, yeah, but it's, it's good. I love it. Yeah. yeah. I be putting on, <laughs> be dancing and all. Yeah. You can ignore that, Lily. <laughs> what was your first studio experience like? It was dope. I thought I was going to be nervous. Like, yeah. Yeah. Because I've been in the studio before, but just like doing my own song, like mm -hmm. really, I thought I was, but I killed it. I got a um, song I did. It's called Not a Nigga. Okay. It's dope. Like, um, and that was my first song I did. Huh. My actual first song. Like, my first song I really wrote, it was off of Cardi B. Um, what that song is Cardi B did? Bodak Yellow? Bodak Yellow. How you knew? <laughs> <laughs> and I did. And it's dope. Like, I love it. Like, everybody was fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But... I went ahead and did my own song because she kind of inspired. Like I got other artists that inspired me, but when she came out and how she did it, yeah. like it, it inspired me. Like oh, I, I can do it. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Like and I did it. So yeah, the rest is history. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch of female rappers that you it know really taking off right now yeah. too. That's kind of that's like what's going well. on, the female rapper. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And what's it been like opening up for like Tokyo Jets and Trina? Oh yeah, it was dope. Like, and everybody showed love. You know, all the artists who can, who I perform with. You know, Trina, she took we took pictures and stuff together. Like, nice. she had did an interview. Shawty Shawty was there from here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I linked up with them, and in the back while she was doing the interview, she was I was soaking up the free game. You <laughs> yeah, know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like she was talking about female artists and. Hmm. And coming up in the rap game and stuff like that, and I just was soaking everything up. Yeah. But it was dope. Yeah. 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 Um, all right. What would you say is the message in your music? Uh, really like me being in my own lane, doing my own thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I, I went through a couple bad relationships, so I'm kind of talking about niggas in the in the in the. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. just like don't need not a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like. I can do this myself. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Like I'm just pushing, and it is what it is. Like, but it's it's um it's great. Like I love it. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. What do you look for when you're picking out beats? Pizza. Beats. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell I get pizza for? <laughs> oh, no, let me re ask that one. <laughs> I be looking for some hard, some hard ass beats though. Like I got some nice beats. I got a song I just did. Um. Hard as so I can't let y'all listen to it. Can I? <laughs> like it's nice. It's called uh, in my own lane actually. And that's what my my I'm finna drop an EP too. Okay. And that's the name of the um EP in my okay. own lane. Yeah. Okay. But I love I love looking for beats, listening to beats, everything. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's dope. When you plan on dropping that EP? Uh, the end of next month. 
okay. in September. Okay. Yeah. Because I got what? I already got um eleven songs. Okay. Yeah, and I got two more I'm working. I probably don't put all of them on that. Yeah. But yeah, I'm just working on which one I really want to put mm -hmm. on there. Yeah. But by the end of next month, it'll be dropping. Okay. Yeah, How long it's have you been called in my own line. Yeah. How long yeah. have you been working on that project? Um probably about five, six months now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I mean the song I've been working on since last year, since I started. Yeah. So I haven't dropped anything. Like I dropped my music, but far as an EP, I haven't dropped yeah. one yet. So, you know, the songs I've been working on, you know, some of those are going to go on there. And then my new songs that I just I just did, yeah. those are going to go on there. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a personal favorite song that you've done so mm -hmm. far? Um, I got three three favorite songs. Three I got. favorites. All right. It's um, in my own lane, the one I just did, Day Before Yesterday. Okay. It's dope. Like, I love it. And not a nigga. Hmm. That was my first song. I love okay. that song. That's and, your current single, right? Right. Okay. And then topic of discussion. Okay. I got a song called Topic of Discussion. Yeah. Yeah. So. What are you talking about on these uh, songs? Topic of discussion. It's like no time to waste. Um. Like it's like I'm in, It's like I'm the topic of everybody's discussion right now. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So. I'm just letting her know, like, I'm doing my own thing. I worry about what nobody's talking about, how nobody feel about what I got going on. Like, I'm trying to do this for me and my boys. I got two boys. Okay. So I'm trying to do this for me and my boys, and I'm going to make it. So, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That's basically what I'm talking about in there. Yeah. Yeah. Not a nigga. It's like, I don't, it's basically, I don't need not a nigga. It's like, I fuck with the hairstylers and the rappers, you know what I'm saying? And the trappers, my bad. I fuck with the hairstylers. I fuck with the rappers too. Yeah. But it's like I fuck with the hairstylers and the, and the trappers or whatever because I do deal with everybody, you know what I'm saying? So, um, and it's just letting people know that, you know, women, period, like you don't need not a nigga. Like, people, like dudes think you need them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't do this without them. You can't do that without them. But I'm letting you know we, can, we, got, we got the power. Like, we can yeah. do whatever we want to do. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, it's dope. Yeah. Who are some of the producers you've been working with on this project? Um, I work with a dude named Bizzo, uh, Boris, Boris, um, and uh, Spielberg, a dude named Spielberg. Okay. Yeah. And then I came up here and did two songs at Patchwork. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. What was that experience like working it in a big dope. studio like that? Yeah, I loved it. Like every <laughs> moment of it, I loved it. I walked in there, I was like, what? Like, it's everybody being to pay yeah, for it. Uh -huh. Yes, man. So it was an honor to even go there. Yeah, and those, it was dope. those rooms are huge, too. Very you know? huge, yeah. yeah. I was in the second room. Yeah. Yeah, it was a nice room. It, it was dope, though. Yeah. Yeah. How are the studios in Augusta? How do they compare to the ones out here in Atlanta? Uh, well, actually, the studio that I just recorded at, um, with the dude Vars, mm -hmm. it's it, actually his studio is like a Atlanta studio. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. he got three three different rooms. He got a big old green screen. Like it's really dope. Like yeah. I love that studio. <laughs> but Patchwork, that's dope. Like, yeah, I love Patchwork. <laughs> yeah, but studios in Augusta are nice though. Okay. Yeah, they nice. Okay, so they yeah. got some nice ones. Yeah, they got nice studios. Okay. Yeah, I got you. I got they you. Got some dope studios. All right. What are some of your short term goals with your music career? Like where are you trying to be at the beginning of 2020? Where I'm trying to be at. I just really want my music to get out more than just Atlanta and Augusta, South Carolina. You get what I'm yeah. saying? Like I did a show in Florida, but I really want everybody to really hear my music everywhere. You get what I'm saying? Like I just, I, I'm just ready to make it. Like I already know. Like I just know it's gonna, it's gonna come for me. I'm just ready. Like. Yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. Uh, what about long term goals? Like five years from now? Five years from now. I want to be, um, I really want to be, I'm, I'm ready to be rich for one. <laughs> like, I'm really ready for that to come. But the time is, is all time, you know what I'm saying? Just yeah. take patience. But um, I just want to be the next best female rapper. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I'm just ready to blow up. And just, yeah. Do my thing, you know. Yeah. Work with a lot of um artists. I really want to work with Megan Thee Stallion. Hmm. I want to work with Cardi B. You hmm. know what I'm saying? See the girls. I work with See the girls. Like you know, Cash Doll. I love Cash yeah. Doll. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just ready to put in that work. Yeah. 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 I got you. All right, Dean. What else you working on right now? Um, I'm working on two two singles right now. Um. 
I'm working on making sure my boys straight. Like yeah. they both of them um in eighth grade and sixth grade now. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they, they got football pro they got football trials today. So okay. they're trying out for football. Both of them wanna do football and basketball. Huh. So I'm trying to keep them keep a level head and keep them going. <laughs> like even in the midst of what I got going on, I still still a mama. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just pray to God every day. Like put him first. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I know everything else is gonna come. So Yeah. But I'm working on some some dope stuff, and then I got my my single I just did uh, in my own lane. I'm doing a video shoot for that next month, and okay. then the end of this month I'm doing a video shoot for my song Not a Nigga. Okay. Because I didn't do a video shoot, and I got a song. It's called D Ken. It's self titled my name, <laughs> and I did a video for that in December. <laughs> it's a dope video, yeah. So, yeah. but I'm really working on my next two videos, and then my next two singles I'm trying to put out. Okay. In my EP. Yes. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Anything yeah. else you want to add? No. I just it's just a pleasure to be here. Thank y'all for having me. Yeah. And y'all look me up. I'm D Kent. Yeah. Um, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. You know what I'm saying? YouTube. Follow me. Check my music out. Ain't nothing here free. Keep this pussy on lock, so you know it ain't cheap. I ain't never gave a fuck when they said about me. You can call it what you want, bitch. I've been an OG.